With all the hype surrounding Steam machines, it's easy to forget that you don't need to buy a new system to check out Valve's vision for the future of PC gaming. Eager users can check out a beta version of SteamOS right now, provided they're rocking an Intel processor and an NVIDIA, Intel, or AMD graphics card. Laptops that feature both discrete and integrated graphics aren't currently supported. You'll also need at least a 500GB hard disk and 4GB of RAM. There are actually two versions of SteamOS to try out, one with less configuration required that restores an image of SteamOS to your PC, and another that runs through a standard OS setup. The restoration version requires that you have a 1TB hard drive fitted. If you're using a smaller drive, like a fast SSD for example, you'll need to go through the standard setup, which is what we opted for. Once you've downloaded the installer from the Steam website, you then need to extract the contents of it to a USB stick. Bear in mind that you'll need one at least 2GB in size. Now simply plug it into your PC and then boot from the USB drive by opening the boot selection screen at startup. You should be presented with a list of boot options. Select the UEFI entry for your USB drive and the Steam OS installer will boot up. Select Automated Install and the installer will wipe the contents of your hard drive, partition it and install SteamOS. The process takes around 30 minutes or so, so I don't know, go alphabetize your spice rack or something. During installation you may run into an issue with your display going to sleep and not waking up again if you're plugged in via HDMI, so if possible go in via DVI. If all goes well, you should be presented with a login screen. Again, if you're plugged in via HDMI, you may encounter an issue with the screen resolution being incorrect upon boot, making it look like this. The solution, other than to plug in via DVI, is to hit the icon at the top right of the screen and click the top option. This makes the text bigger, allowing you to select the GNOME session from the login window and log in with the username and password Steam. If when you reach the Linux desktop your screen resolution is still incorrect, you need to go into the settings and configure your display. Ok, next step, you need to get SteamOS installed. Open up a terminal from the applications window, type in Steam and press enter. Once Steam is installed, close the open windows and log out of the system. Log into the GNOME session again, this time using the username desktop and the password desktop. Open up another terminal window and type in the following text. Terminal will prompt you for a password, which is also desktop. The system will automatically reboot and create a recovery partition. Once that's done, the system will reboot again and you'll finally be presented with the Steam login screen. Unfortunately, we encountered yet another issue when we connected via HDMI that caused an incorrect resolution to be displayed in Steam's big picture mode. To fix this, first you need to enable access to the desktop. On the desktop, open up another terminal window, then enter the following text. This will load up a text file where you need to find the line that says preload. Before the preload line, create a new line and enter the following text, replacing the numbers with your preferred resolution. Hit Ctrl X on your keyboard, then Y to save the file, and after a restart, you should be presented with the correct resolution and Steam's big picture mode in all its wonderful glory. While that might seem like a lot of effort to go to in order to get things working, in the grand scheme of Linux, SteamOS fares pretty well. Everything aside from the correct screen resolution works straight away, including things like audio and the Ethernet port, components that traditionally require a bit of terminal fiddling to get working. Even swapping out an NVIDIA card for an AMD one didn't throw up any issues. Now you can finally start playing some games. Unfortunately, the Linux selection isn't the biggest right now, but there are quite a few indie games, as well as Valve titles like Dota 2 and Left 4 Dead 2. Performance is good, with comparable or better frame rates in SteamOS than in Windows provided you're using an NVIDIA card. We found the current AMD drivers were pretty flaky and gave us some pretty bad frame rates, but no doubt that'll be improved in time. And hey, SteamOS is free, so you can give it a go without breaking the bank. And who knows, if enough people install it or buy a Steam box, there may even be more than a handful of games to play on it too.